whenever God wanted to do something special, He said, I want to speak to the elders. Anybody 50 years and over qualifies to be an elder. Anybody hearing me 50 and over your ministry today and your ministry is to hear from God. Once you hear from God you return it back to him. Very good. And by age, na kwa sababu ya umri, heaven has got heaven's stamp on it. Mbingu inaweka muhuri yake hapo kwa umri. It says past. Inasema hiyo nimepitisha. By heaven. Imepitishwa na mbingu. So what are you say today? Basi kile ambacho unasema leo, on behalf of the body of Christ. Kwa niaba ya mwili wa Kristo. Heaven has passed it. Hallelujah. That which you say to yourself is even better when it is applied to someone else. So we will go to God as the as Judah went to God. They went with their hands raised up. Their hands were empty. After that, they took the blessing. Father, these empty hands signify need. Need in our lives in our nation, taifaletu, in our economy, uchumi wetu, in our relationship, wetu, need, Lord, in your church. Kwa lako. Everybody here, Lord, Kila moja hapa bwana, is known by you, kwako, by name, kwa jina lake. and for this reason we thank you Na kwa sababu hii that you know us by name, kwa kwa jina hii. and we are yours. Nasi ni wako. As we lift up these empty hands up, as a symbol of empty lives. Now we receive that which divine help has. Now we receive that which divine help has. We thank you so much. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Teach your children as you walk with them on the road. As you come to the harvest time, teach your children concerning the His presence. Wake. Those of you that have been with me for some time, you discover Umishagundua. that we depend on His presence more than anything else. Wake. And I know many of you have received your miracles privately. And God has spoken to you in a special way. Hallelujah. The book of John chapter 4 has a lot of teaching for us. Give me my Bible, please. I want to share with you some of the things that God is speaking to me privately when I'm alone with him. And he's teaching me so that I may be able to disseminate 
So please don't pray that you be spiritual to understand. Kwa hivyo tafadhali usianze kusema Mungu nisaidie nikuelewa kiroho kuelewa kile mzee atasema. No. Hapana. You will understand it. Utaelewa tu. Not because you are spiritual. Sio kwa sababu wewe ni wa kiroho. Because you came for it. Lakini kwa sababu ulikuja kuelewa. So don't act spiritual. Kwa hivyo usijifanye wa kiroho. Don't change your voice. Usibadilishe sauti yako. Be yourself. Kuwa wewe, baki wewe. Be yourself. Baki wewe. And receive from heaven. Na kisha upokee kutoka mbinguni. The book of John chapter 4. Kitabu cha Yohana sura ya 4. You will discover in verse 4. Utagundua mstari wa 4. He needed to go through Samaria. Alihitaji kupita katikati ya Samaria. He needed. Alihitaji. I don't like it the way John puts it. Sipendi jinsi Yohana anavyosema. God the creator. Mungu huyu muumbaji. Having a need. Ati yuko na hitaji. Having a need. Mungu anahitaji. What is this need that the creator had to, to attend to? Ni nini hii amepungukiwa nayo ambayo ikabidi muumba aende kutafuta? There was one woman in Samaria. Akapatikana mama moja pale Samaria. Samaritans were Gentiles. Wa Samaria walikuwa watu wa kimataifa. They were not considered humans. Hawakuchukuliwa kama wanadamu. Here you are. Wewe ndio huyu hapa. And Jesus. Na Yesu has chosen. Ameshakuchagua to give that attention to you ili aweze kukutazama sawa sawa he needed to go through samaria yesu akahitaji kupita katikati ya samaria today leo hii you are the need of heaven ni wewe ndiwe hitaji ya mbingu amina heaven has a need mbingu inahitaji you na hiyo hitaji ni wewe be available wewe patikana tu be available where you are patikana mahali uliko right where you are seated hapo hapo uliko keti be available patikana hapo may your mind be together nia yako na iwe pamoja may your thoughts be here mawazo yako yote yawe hapa you yourself wewe mwenyewe this time of the year wakati huu wa mwaka huu he is going to take time out atachukua muda wake to attend to you ili akushughulikie. Amina. Haleluya. Praise the Lord. Amina. I wish you could say I am so important. Natamani ungeona jinsi ilivyo muhimu. Let the heaven minds about me. Kwamba mbingu inanijali mimi. We believe in numbers. Mara mingi sisi tunaamini kwa wingi wa watu. How many do you have? Swali tunauliza ni eh hey, na wewe uko na watu wangapi? How many are attending? Wangapi wanakuja? How large is it? Kanisa ni kubwa aje. Let me tell you this. Hebu nikwambie hivi. Where Jesus is? Mali Yesu mwenyewe yuko. Numbers don't matter. Wingi wa watu haihesabiki tena. He is the same son of God. Yeye ni mwana wa Mungu yule yule when is with one person Samaritan akiwa na huyu mama mmoja msamaria is the same son of God tena ni yule yule mwana wa Mungu when he has got 5000 eating wakati yuko na watu bread and tano eating bread and ambao wanakula mikate na samaki he is the same yeye ni yule yule bado today leo hii you will not hold anything back usishikilie hata shikilia kingine chochote nyuma that is yours by heaven ambacho ni chako na alikupangia today we never go back leo hii in fact he's saying anasema come and take everything you need jo uchukue kila kitu ambacho unahitaji ministry here today na huduma yangu hapa leo is information nikukupasha habari information nikukupasha habari hallelujah amina what heaven has for you kile ambacho mbingu inacho kwa ajili yako No one will overtake you. Hakuna yeyote atakupita. Hallelujah. I wish all my fellow preachers understood this. Na wishi na natamani kwamba wahubiri wenzangu wageelewa hii. They couldn't be fighting each other. Inawezekana wanapigana wenyewe kwa wenyewe. They couldn't be fighting each other. Inawezekana wanapigana wenyewe kwa wenyewe. Because what God has for you. Maana kile ambacho Mungu amekuandalia. No one has got the right to it. Hakuna yeyote ambaye ana haki ya kuufikia. 
and your blessing is intact. My job here is to give you information and to lead you there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In his presence is fullness of joy. In his presence is fullness of joy. At his right hand pleasures forevermore. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Atukuzwe. Yesu ni Bwana. Hallelujah. You know very well when Jesus came. Unajua vizuri sana wakati Yesu alifika hapo. Amazingly, the one he came to see was not there. Jambo la kushangaza ni kwamba yule ambaye alifanya Yesu kupita katikati ya Samaria hakupatikana pale. Today, leo Someone may have told you you are too late. Inawezekana mtu amekwambia umechelewa sana. Not with the heaven. Sio kwa mbingu au chelewangi na mbingu. Heaven has got yours. Mbingu imekuandalia and your blessing no one will come between you and your blessing. Na kwa baraka yako hakuna atakaye ingilia kati. Hallelujah. Amina. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you something very special. There are things that ear has never heard. There are things that eye has never seen. Not because there were no eyes. But they were not qualified to see them. Not because there were no eyes. Yes. But because these things were too powerful, too great. Lakini kwa sababu mambo haya yalikuwa ya nguvu na yalikuwa kuu zaidi. If God can let you see heaven into the heavenlies or the heavenlies. Kama Mungu anaweza kukubalia uweze kuona kila kitu kinakuwa hatena. Leo hii. Mungu of heaven is here. hapa. Thank you Father. Everything you want to be. Kila kitu ambacho unataka kuwa. Everything you desire to be. Kila kitu ambacho uko na shauku yake. There's more where this came from. Kuna zaidi mahali ambapo hii uko nayo imetoka. Bells. Ninyi wazee. Where you are. Popote ulipo. The world says you are of no use anymore. Walimwengu wanasema umeshachapa, hauna sababu rudi oshago. Heaven says. Mbingu inasema ready to be used sasa ndio uko tayari kutumiwa heaven says mbingu inasema i can trust them naweza kuamini hawa heaven says mbingu inasema i can trust them naweza kuamini hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord today leo hii it's not a day of Miracles to play with. It's a day of spending time in the presence of my God. What do I say? In his presence. How do I react? In his presence. In his presence. How do I behave? Tabia yangu itakuwa ya aina gani? Ndani uwepo wake. Because when you arrive where he is. Maana ukifika aliko. You don't need to go anywhere. Hauhitaji kupiga safari tena. You have arrived where you are going. Ushafika mahali ulikuwa unaenda. Hallelujah. Amina. I have arrived. Nishafika. I have arrived. Nishafika. Hallelujah. I have arrived. Where he is, nature stops to listen. 
Asili inasimama ipate kumsikiliza. Right now, sasa hivi angels, malaika are envying you. Wanakutamani, wanakuonea wivu. The reason, sababu ni hii. Sons of the kingdom hawa ni wana wa ufalme are now enjoying their father's presence. Ambao wanafurahia uwepo wa baba yao. The kingdom and the king are the same. Ufalme na mfalme wa ufalme ni mtu mmoja. So the kingdom is in you. Basi ufalme yuko ndani yako by the owner himself in you. Na mwenye ufalme mwenyewe yuko ndani yako. His name is Jesus. Anaitwa Yesu. King of kings. Ye mfalme wa ufalme. Jesus. Yesu ndiye. King of kings. Mfalme wa ufalme. Jesus. Yes, ndiye. King of kings. Falme wa falme. Lord of lords. Bwana wa mabwana. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Jesus. Yes, sir. Is Lord. Wewe ni bwana. Jesus. Yes, sir. You are Lord. Wewe ni bwana. Jesus. Yes, sir. You are Lord. Wewe ni Bwana. Jesus. Yesu. Wewe ni Bwana. Jesus. Yesu. You are Lord. Wewe ni Bwana. Jesus. Yesu. You are Lord. Wewe ni Bwana. Hallelujah. You are Lord. Praise the Lord. Wewe ni Bwana. Jesus. Yesu. You are Lord. Wewe ni Bwana. Yesu. He has been waiting for you to arrive. Like the Samaritan woman. Yours may be just not only physical. But you must arrive mind wise. Lakini lazima uko tayari kwenye nia yako. Seated or, or standing? Kama umeketi ama umesimama? That's not my problem. Hiyo sio shida yangu. You chose to stand. Ulichagua kusimama. Nobody told you to stand. Hakuna ambaye alikwambia usimame. Why have you done this? Ni kwa nini umefanya hivyo? Because the king the owner is here. Kwa sababu mfalme mwenye So when you see some, something happening to the left or to the right. Hey, is the owner of the meeting is here. Someone is reacting. Someone is reacting. And let me tell you this. Watch me. Look here. Open your eyes. Don't react like sister so and so in front of you. Don't act or react like brother so and so to, to your left or to the right. You are special. You are special. You are special. When he comes to the place where he was supposed to meet this very important person, Yesu alipofika mali maaluma baba alikuwa na paswa kukutana na huyu mtu special. This person was not there. Huyu mtu muhimu hakuwa misha fika. And when she came, na wakati huyu mama alifika mwishowe. It was not with troops soldiers ahead of her. Hakuja na askari mbele zake. She was ordinary woman. Alikuwa mama wa kawaida. Why am I teaching this? Ni kwa nini nafunza hivi? Because God wants to meet you exactly where you are. Kwa sababu Mungu anataka kukutana na wewe mahali uko sasa. We are being told you must be lifted up first. 
need. No need. God will meet you there. In fact, in fact, as I teach today, I know the spirit of miracle is working. I know it very well. So I'm addressing you. I'm addressing you. When she came, Uyu mama lipofika, Jesus not interfering with the kando. She was the only aim. Uyu mama lialimuleta Yesu hapo. Hallelujah. Amina. She was the only the Jewish law. Kinyume cha sheria ya wayahudi. Jesus went there. Yesu akaenda. Against the law of Samaritans. Kinyume cha sheria za wa Samaria pia. Nothing will hinder Jesus from coming to you. Hakuna kitu ambacho kinamzuia Yesu asikufikie. Don't let anybody tell you you have no faith. Usimruhusu mtu kukwambia bado haujachanga imani ya kutosha. You have not prayed enough. Hati ujafanya maombi ya kutosha. You have not fasted enough. Haujafunga saumu ya kutosha. Tell them that is them. Waambie hiyo ni yeye wenye kufunga. You are you. Wewe ni wewe. He has, cho he has chosen you. Yesu ameshakuchagua. He knows why. Na anajua kwa sababu gani amekuchagua. Hallelujah. Amina. Asifiwe Yesu. Amina. Asifiwe Yesu. Amina. Wa there no many women and men in Samaria city? Je, hakukua na wanaume na wanawake wengi mji wa Samaria? The answer is yes. Jibu ni kwamba walikweko. Why did he choose this one? Lakini kwa nini Yesu akamchagua huyu mama? Of all the women there. Kati ya wanawake wote wa kuchaguliwa. This woman did not qualify to be a leader of the women's group. Huyu mama alikuwa amekataliwa na hata wale wa mama wabaya. And Jesus goes beyond human and does the unimaginable. Kisha Yesu akaenda zaidi ya viwango vya wanadamu kisha katenda kile ambacho hawakudhania aweza kufanya. You are the cause. Wewe ndiwe sababu ya Yesu kutenda anachofanya. For his presence here today. Yeye kuwa na wewe leo hii. Not because a prayer warrior prays. Sio kwa sababu shujaa wa maombi aliporomosha maombi. It's you. Ni wewe umefanya Yesu yuko. Amen. Sema ni mimi. Ni mimi. Sema ni mimi. Ni mimi. Hakuna atakaye kutoa hapo. Sema ni mimi. Ni mimi. Sema ni mimi. Ni mimi. In these evil days, katika siku hizi mbaya, when the unpredictable happens, wakati mambo mabaya hayabashiriki ndio yanayotendeka. These times, nyakati hizi, when no one can tell you what future, what the future holds. Wakati hakuna hata mmoja anaweza kukuambia kwamba 2022 itakuwa namna gani. We have the owner of the universe. Tunaye mwenyeji aliyeumba yote na dunia yote. His name is Jesus. Jina lake anaitwa Yesu. Nothing happens behind his back. Hakuna kinachofanyika nyuma yake. And he's not going to change things so that they don't happen to us. Na hata badilisha mambo kuzuia mambo kututendekea. He is going to let them happen. Hata yaruhusu yatendeke to prove his presence. Kuthibitisha kwamba yuko yanatendeka kwa sababu yuko. To prove his presence. Atafanya hivyo kuthibitisha kwamba yuko. Hallelujah. To prove his presence. Kuthibitisha kwamba yuko. Asifiwe Yesu. Amina. So don't come here to be prayed for. Usije kufanyiwa maombi so that there's nothing not, nothing goes wrong in your life. Ili eti mambo yasikakuharibikie. No. Hapana. Don't. Usije kufanya maombi. Grow up. Bwana wewe kuwa koma kwa hiyo shida. Koma. Koma. Grow up. Koma bwana. I wish there were more pastors here today. Tamani ningekuwa na wachungaji wengi leo hii. Because what I'm, I'm feeling inside me. Kwa sababu kile ambacho nahisi ndani yangu. Is what God's preparing for his church. Ndicho kile ambacho Mungu anaandaa kwa ajili ya kanisa lake. Pastor. Wachungaji. God's going to send them to you to follow you. 
Mungu atawatuma watu kwako wa kufuate nyuma. And it's going to equip you before they follow you. Na atakuvika kabla hao watu wa kufuate. Amen. Today you believer. Leo wewe mwaminio. In the Lord Jesus Christ. Katika Bwana Yesu Kristo. Let me make this statement. Acha nifanye tamshiri. There's nothing in heaven. Hakuna kitu kilichobaki mbinguni which is yours. Chako which you can't enjoy now. Ambayo sasa hivi hauwezi kuenjoy. Riches. Kama ni utajiri, faith, am imani, contentment, utoshelevu. Contentment, utoshelevu. Satisfaction in life, utosheka maishani. <laughs> Enjoying to the fullness. Kufurahia vitu kabisa. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We begin today. Tumeanza leo. Hebu nikuonyeshe siri hapa. And each one of us qualifies for this. Na kila mmoja wetu ametoshea kupata hili. Each one here give me qualifies. Kila mmoja ambaye ananisikia ametosha. You got born again. Uliokoka and you are still born again. Bado umeokoka because of one thing you did. Kwa sababu ya jambo moja ambalo ulisema. You heard. Ulisikia. You believed. Ukaamini. And you spoke. Kisha ukazungumza. <laughs> you heard. Ulisikia. You believed. Ukaamini. Then you spoke. Kisha ukasema ulichoamini. One man spoke. Wakati mtalizungumza at the cross, pale msalabani, a thief, mwivi, he said, o mwivi akasema, Lord, Bwana, remember me. Unikumbuke. Lord, Bwana, remember me. Unikumbuke. He said again. Hebu sikiliza hiyo tena. You have much to say. He didn't have much to say. Hakuwa na maneno mengi. Mathif. Mimi ni mwivi. I'm on the cross. Niko msalabani. Rightly so. Kwa sababu nimetenda makosa. However, hata hivyo, thinking of you now. Nikikufikiria sasa, remember me. Nikumbuke. Hallelujah. He didn't believe and keep quiet. Imani yake haikumfanya anyamaze kimya. He said. Imani yake ilimfanya kusema. He said. Imani yake ilimfanya kusema. And the Lord of the universe. Na Bwana wa ulimwengu wote responded. Akaitikia. He said, akasema, tonight leo hii you shall be with me in paradise. Utakuwa nami paradiso. We meet you in paradise. Nakutana paradiso. Shortcut njia mkato kama kuna njia mkato ndiyo hiyo remember me nikumbuke shortcut kapita njia mkato remember nikumbuke you have forgotten you mungu hajakusahau but tell him remember me lakini unamwambia nikumbuke sio kwa sababu amekusahau no hapana hapana you are correcting him au msawishi you are saying i am in need unamwambia ninahitaji remember me Nikumbuke. Don't have to mention your name. Sio lazima utaje jina lako. Just say remember me. Sema tu nikumbuke. Nikumbuke bwana. Hmm. <laughs> Somebody say remember me Lord. Mtu sema bwana nikumbuke. I didn't say believe and believe say with faith no. Sikusema uamini moyoni mwako ndani. Hapana. Nimesema iseme. Remember me Lord. Nikumbuke bwana. Remember me Lord. Nikumbuke bwana. I didn't say shout. 
Let me say, change your voice. Remember me, Lord. He had no time to repent. On that cross. He said, remember me, Lord. And he was promised. He was promised. It doesn't take long. Tonight. We shall meet in paradise. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us learn from here. You don't have to have a degree to say, Remember me, Lord. You don't have to own much to qualify. I am fighting a very strong enemy. And the enemy that I'm fighting is not the devil. It's me. There's a fight between me and the presence of God. I'm not going to wait until I feel like. I'm going to defy Joseph Kai. Mimi nitakosa kujisikia. I'm going to fight Joseph Kai. I'm going to fight this man. I tell him, don't stand between me and my God. Your feelings and experiences are not needed here. I'm taking God as he says he is. Mimi na mkubali mungu jinsi alivi yosema kwa neno laki. Hallelujah. Amina. Hallelujah. Amina. Father. Baba. I know you have visited us. Na juo usha tutembelea. Father, I know. Baba, na juo. The hearts are melting. Mioyo ina yeyuka. Father, I know. Baba, na juo. The difficult areas of life are becoming real. Maineo magumu ya maishani ya nakuwa mambo alisi. And you are giving us the kingdom. Nasi unatupatia ufalme wako. Jesus. Ebu ana Yesu. Your blood. Damu yako. Your name. Jina lako. Your spirit. Roho wako. All is here for us. Yote kwa mawazo yako. Thank you, Father. Asante Baba. Thank you, Father. Asante Baba. Thank you, Father. Asante Baba. Thank you. Now, Sasa Sklizi, come to yourself Jifikie mwenyewe. and talk to Jesus. The only way you can talk to him, um, you. Umzungumzie Yesu kwa njia ambayo wewe peke yako waweza kuzungumza nae. I don't know whether to give you this leadership. But I would like to help you. Have you started and then failed? The reason is because you started. You are not a failure. Wewe sio mshindwa. Failures don't even start. Umeshindwa kwa sababu ulianza. Failures don't start. Wale wenye umeshindwa hawaanzagi. He is the beginner. Ni yule ambaye huanza and the finisher of our faith. Tena yeye mkamilishi wa imani yetu. From today, toka leo hii, he has taken over your life. Amechukua usukani wa maisha yako. From today, toka leo, every time you are in you will hear a voice tell you that's taken care of that's taken care of oh yes hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah amina sisi ni wabudu amina tunabudu amina Worship after me. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. 